Welcome back, guys. It's lovely, isn't it? Need to, need to work on this area. It's one of the things I'm going to be talking to you in this episode about. This episode, we're going to be a little bit different in this episode. No time lapse this episode. We're going to get into um, a few details. I started doing a lot of detail work. And then I thought, you know what, I should, I should actually show the guys some of this. So I thought this episode's going to be more showing you little things that I'm doing. Not, like not doing loads of one thing, but, but showing you little things that I'm doing around the map. And then I thought um, we can also do like the heritage line and some other stuff. I've been working on Chudley uh, and I've got a really cool idea. I think you're going to love guys. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll get back. We'll get into that right after this message. This video is brought to you by Sky's Official Game Store. There's a link in the video description. Check it out. Um, so, yeah. So, Surviving Mars is on my Game Store. Yay. Uh, surviving Stores. Uh, surviving Stores. Surviving Mars is on the store today. That's already live. And City Skylines. City, Sky, City Skylines should have been live today with, uh, with Surviving Mars. But uh, it's got held up. We're just waiting on one little thing. Uh, and then, and then uh, City Skylines will be live as well. So, to celebrate the fact that those two games are here in the store, you can expect uh, a new series of Surviving Mars starting soon, and Transport Fever, continuation of the Transport Fever series. I've been kind of waiting for that for, for, for City Skylines to hit the store so I can uh, continue that series. So, uh, so what the hell have I been doing? Um, now, where's some good, uh, you know, let, let's start down in here in Wellington. I've been doing, we're, we're going to be going all over the map because I've been doing all kinds of little bits and pieces and stuff, um, which I've been really enjoying. So, down here, if we look down here, if we, if we look at, first of all, if we start looking at this, right, and you see that we've, we've just got the pylons going over the ground as normal. Over here, I put in just, just a little strip of, um, of texture just a gravel texture underneath. And I kind of really like that. And I've, I've done it in a bunch of other places as well, which I'll show you a couple of. But I just thought I'd show you like the difference that it makes. So like this, if we um, if we take the the farmer tool, it's, uh, the reason I'm not gonna do a lot of this is because it's kind of a bit slow, which, uh, which is fine when I'm doing time lapsing, but it's it's kind of not so good. What am I doing? I want trees. There we go. Trees, and we want um, painter. Painter is a a mod of the farmer mod. So somebody took the farmer mod and, and changed it around a little bit. So uh, gravel B kind of works well for this, but like like when you select it, it takes a takes a few seconds for it to to activate. So what I've been doing is like you know sort sort of start. Kind of up here, just near the cliff. You see, the first one you put down, there's always like a, a few seconds wait. There we go. Which, like I say, in the time lapse doesn't matter. And then bring it down alongside the pylons. Uh, up to the road would be good. And then the other side of the road. Take it out a little bit. And a little bit. And maybe come out a little bit there as well. And then when you paint that in, I just think that looks so much better. Now these are tiny, tiny details that you'll you'll probably kind of barely notice, but I think they make a huge difference. And then to finish it off, um, you can kind of blend it in by putting a few bushes around to discolor the to discolor the ground in various areas. Let's put. See, like, we've got a little patch of green there, which I don't kind of like. There we go. Maybe another. Can I squeeze another one in somewhere? There we go. You just get these different discoloured patches and whatever. Just throw, there we go. I just, I just think those different textures, you know, breaking up the green with bits of, you know, concrete or gravel or whatever, makes a hell of a difference. So, like, this little area here needs you know, like a few few bushes in this area just to kind of let's just have a little patch there we go there we go that's better awesome around here so yeah like like areas like this and um, I've been doing I, I've been going around I've been hunting down bridges and putting in uh, areas around bridges so like I think I did um, did I do I didn't do this one see that that's one that I could do 
I've done I've done loads of them though. Right, let's have a, I think I did I did all the ones in the Biggleswade area, I think. So like areas like this. Just putting in a nice patch of gravel underneath. And it just looks it just looks so damn good. Where um Oh, I, I did a bit of work up here. Let's have a look at this. Did a little bit of work up here. So again, put that put that little bit of gravel and trying to make it like uneven, not because I, I, I did do this before under a couple of bridges, but I made it kind of very regular, whereas now I'm trying to make it kind of irregular, <laughs> is the word I'm looking for. And then you throw in a few bushes. And now, this area over here isn't, isn't complete, but once, once you complete this by extending the bushes down and all the rest of it, it's kind of cool. If I just go up here so you can kind of only see, see that, I, I really like this area now. And I did a bit of work on uh, on this as well, putting some putting some textured areas around around these buildings, like like around here, and then just kind of blending the terrain in a little bit. And I think it really ups the realism level. Which now again, this is kind of a bit out of the way. Literally, unless like even even riding this train, you're not really going to see very much. Yeah, you're only going to see really this bit. I put in a couple of um, couple of warehouses and a couple of kind of kind of like more sort of officey buildings somewhere where the, the staff might hang out and stuff. Just to, just to improve this, and I, I'm, I'm I'm really getting into adding the little details. You, you can really get carried away doing this stuff. So um, that was that. What else did I do? Oh, I did I did quite a lot of work on the tree line I spent probably like about an hour and a half going around messing around with the tree lines and stuff um, I realized for example that I hadn't when I put this road in that I hadn't redone I hadn't redone the trees and whatever so I went and redone the trees and then I got carried away with that and I started doing areas like like for example over here the, there were no trees around this hill um, but because we're using this factory like I started doing all of this and then and, and, and then I've got to extend it all around here and there's still tons and tons to do and it takes such a long time to do. Uh, now, the, the Chudley Valley, I have been working on the Chudley Valley and you can see that we're starting to have field textures around the place. I've done kind of the main body of the valley. I'm reasonably happy with that now. Um, this area I'm thinking needs to be broken up a little bit and then some different textures over in this area. But like, for example, here, this is another perfect example of where we need a bit of a bit of texturing. So like underneath this viaduct, I think that's kind of a perfect place to throw in a little bit of gravel along here. If it'll if it'll respond, this is the last one I'm going to do because like because I need to do like a, a patch here and then I'm going to leave it and there's going to be a patch under this one. So like if we go from if we go from say here, I should probably pause the game actually. That would probably make sense. Let's pause the game. So like if I like I like to start a little bit back and then go towards the viaduct or the bridge or whatever it is, and then go up to the pillars and then we'll come out a little bit towards the tracks just to kind of make it because that's what kind of tends to happen and then we'll come just to the side of the tracks and then we'll have a narrow bit kind of going along here and then we'll go out to the the stanchion uh, and then I want to go up just to the other side of there just before the cliff so I'll say there come out a little bit down to here down to here then come out a little bit again to the tracks cross the tracks again we'll have a narrow bit coming down kind of there um, let's do this into let's come out to there come out to there oh. and there and then um, I think we'll just do it up to the right I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna leave that natural so let's just come out to the road kind of there and then let's see how this looks like it and then again obviously we need to finish it off with uh, a few, few bushes and things around the place you know I'm, I'm kind of tempted to put a fence along here 
Yeah, nice and patchy. I want it nice and patchy like that. Um, I want some bushes along the track. There we go. Cool. And there we go. A few bushes along here. And as soon as you get those kind of different colours and stuff, because like like that looks too stark, but talking to Stark, anybody pumped for Game of Thrones? I can't freaking wait. Love Game of Thrones. A few bushes, cool. And then we want like a probably a strategically placed tree or two. Um, let's have a kind of a maybe a little one, kind of down there. Bigger tree up there, yeah, bigger tree up there maybe. But you can see how kind of like fussy or whatever I'm getting with it now. It's kind of, it kind of gets a bit funny, but uh, big tree. Let's put a big tree down by maybe the road kind of thing. Maybe another one on the other side. Um, maybe maybe like one in there. I said maybe a little big. Let's plop you over there. So, yeah, a little small tree like that. This side or that? I'm thinking that side. There we go. And what do we think? I mean, I think that that makes quite a considerable difference. This, uh, this area, I do need to like go around and do all the bushes and all the kind of stuff. But we'll leave it there for now. I'm, I'm th see, I'm seriously thinking a fence along there would be really kind of nice. I might do that. I might do that. Uh, oh, by the way, you know what? I'll show you this. I'll actually show you this because this is actually worth knowing about. Um, if we go, now let's see. Uh, if I go with the farmer mod, because the farmer mod allows you to put uh, fences in. If I get, let's see, what do I want? A metal fence. Metal fence? Yeah, I think a metal fence. Let's have a metal fence. And the thing to do is to turn off the ground texture. And all it'll do is put in a fence. And it's kind of awesome. So if we just go like, let's see, how do we want to do this? So we start kind of sort of there. Go there. I'm just going to run it pretty, pretty straight across here, and then up to about there. Up to about there. Then I might do it a little bit different on the other side. Um, let's come round those bushes like that, right? And then plant that, and you get a really nice fence. Oh, you know what I didn't do. I didn't put in the last section. So for example here, what I can do is, if I, you need to go right back to the point where you started to get the full fence in. So here, because I forgot the fence, if I just do it from there to there, plant, uh, nope, try that again. If I go from there to there, and then maybe, there, there we go, and plant, there we go. Now, obviously I've got two fences then. What I should have done was the first time around, put it like all the way and come back to the point where you started at. Cool. And, well, you know what? Shall I do it over here? Go on, I'll do it over here. Well, like, what the hell? So we'd want a fence starting, say, um, let's say over there. Oh, I'm gonna need to be in plan mode. There we go. So if we start over there and then come along here, cut up there, come out to here, and do I want to come through there or? Yeah, I suppose, I suppose. So let's come up to there. We'll come around the back of the, come around the back of the bridge. Now this is a, this is a case where if I didn't want a section there, I mean, I can either manually delete it afterwards or I could have started here, gone down and round and then not done the final bit and it would have left that bit out, so. Uh, let's say I just came to there, didn't I? Yeah, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to this. And to there, and down to about there. And then let's cut in just a tiny bit. All right. Oh, oh and I need to come back to there, don't I? Yeah, there we go. So, plant. there we go. Now we've got a nice fence. And the nice thing about these fences is that they actually follow the terrain properly. Now, if I show you the other fences that I've been using. So if we go to, if we go to roads, now I've got some fences, where are they? I think that, yeah, here we go. Like this fence, right? 
this fence just doesn't kind of work properly. Like, see, it does things like that. It like raises the terrain up and whatever, whereas this just follows the terrain perfectly. So, I was so glad that I found that. That's like a really awesome little tool. So yeah, there's been, there's been lots of that going on around the place. What else? What else, what else, what else? Um, Chudley, let's talk Chudley for a second. Cause I started playing around a bit with Chudley, um, doing a bit of the designer city thing, trying to get it to grow out here and stuff. And then I noticed something. Oh, and I put this bridge in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put this bridge in here. And the reason that I put that bridge in across there, linking up to here, is because I looked at Chudley and I was and, and I was like, what, 1%, 7%, 2%? I was like, what the hell's going on? Are we are we not getting stuff delivered or or like like what the hell's going on? And the reason we're not getting stuff delivered is that all of the commercial is over here. All of the industrial is over here. Now if you look at the at this. We're getting, we're getting good delivery, excellent delivery on the industrial stuff, but we're not getting stuff delivered on, on this side. So then I thought, well, hang on a second, let's have a look at this. And I found this was supposed to be supplying everything. But if I open up the, uh, the bus stops, it's only dropping off at Park Lane there, which is only catching like a a tiny bit of the commercial because the commercials all spread over here. So what we need to do is um, is have some some more routes put in. So should we put some more routes in? What I was thinking of doing was maybe putting another stop over here and having because at the moment the trucks go out this way and there's kind of nothing going on over here and I thought it might be kind of nice to have a bit of a circular route coming back this way. So I think that's what we'll do. So let's pop in. What I want. We want um, we want a little stop now. What am I going to use? Am I going to use like a regular a regular bus stop, or, or am I going to use one of these lorry things? Let's have a look down here. Oh no, it's um, it's under cargo, isn't it? I think. Oh no, it's not. No, it must be under here. So it's one of. I guess it's one. Is it one of these? I think it's one of these. Uh, a medium truck unloading zone. There you go. To be placed on the sidewalk. All right, cool. So what we want is to uh, to drop off at Park Lane and then we want to, we'll put in a drop off point over here. So let's put it in, say, there. Cool. And then we want to go Park Lane and then we want to add in that stop there. And now we've got a nice circular route. Okay, so that's that's kind of the first thing. What I might do though, is change Park Lane. Do I want to park, change park lane? Move it up a bit here so that it covers this as well. Um, or do I put in another? I think we put in another line. The thing is, we're going to need two because we're going to need to cover this side, but we're also going to need to cover this side. So I think what we'll do is this. I'm going to put in one line, but it's going to cover both by doing this. Uh, let's make it. Let's make it like pink so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So where do we want to go from? We want to go from this truck stop. And I am wondering about putting in another truck stop. So I've got one of these in at the moment. And, and I could put, um, God, if I can find one. Where's, a, where's one of the bigger truck stops? Uh, and we're using one of those up there as well. God, I need, go, I need to go around and work on the truck stops. <laughs> so much to do, it's crazy. Um, yeah, all right. Well, let's put let's put a couple of stops in some. Now I've actually got a bus stop right there, but I don't think I'm going to use that. No, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to I'm going to use a couple of those uh, those medium loading things again. So let's um let's, should we have one kind of there? I think would be a good good spot to have one. How do I want the I want the vehicles to kind of say come down there and then go around the back? Yeah. So so let's put one on this side, say there. And then we want one over here. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe on even on this road here. Well, I'd say that's not getting that. So it actually needs to be on this street, but that's a very little street. I might have to upgrade that, upgrade that road. You know what I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade that road. 
So let's pop that in there. Let's do a quick road upgrade. We'll just upgrade it to like a, a small street. A small street will work kind of well. Uh, I want the 31 miles an hour one. That's the one. Now, will you? Yes, it'll upgrade without knocking buildings down. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Cool. Okay, so we want to go. I'm just. Am I just going to do it from here for now, or am I going? You know what? I'm going to put a second, a second one in. I'm just going to put one of these in for now. But I'm going to come back and rework this. And I'm going to, because I was looking at this and I was thinking, you know what? I need to put buildings around here and develop the whole area and texture it and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do that. If you want to see me doing that kind of stuff in a in a time lapse, let me know. Or whether you want me to just like, like, nah, you know, like, like, do one or two examples of what you're doing, but like. The rest of the stuff you can kind of do offline if it's the same old, same old. But I do love doing these little bits of decorating. It's kind of awesome. So what I want. I want... Um, am I just going to throw one of these in? Um, this is the more modern one, isn't it? Is this the more... Like, what's the difference between this? I don't know. They're basically the same. This has got three cargo terminals. We don't need that. I'm going to put one of these in. But you know what? They're going to get replaced with with these these type. I want to start using some of these because these are really cool. But we'll yeah we'll get there eventually. So let's just nudge that round a smidge and pop it in. Let's leave a little bit of space, I guess. So let's pop you in there, and then we'll go from this one to this one. Then we'll go back and refill and then we'll go to this one hooray and then it can go back so it'll cover it'll cover two with a single route so it'll go that one then go back refill go come back awesome so having done that uh we need some vehicles on this line now this is uh, let's see this line over here let's turn that off this line over here is rf chudley fuel and goods this is going to be RF Chudley. Um, this is going to be RF Chudley commercial. Yeah, that's going to be RF Chudley commercial. And this one is going to be RF Chudley industrial. Does that make sense? Industrial. Cool. All right, sweet. So... Uh, yeah, so we just need to put some some trucks on the new line. Uh, do I like? I'm just wondering if I want to make it go around the other way, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Right? Have I got a truck stop? Some? Ah, oh, yes, I have over here. <laughs> That'll do. By road vehicles. No, now what are we gonna have? Oh, by the way, loads of but I've got loads and loads of buses. Loads of new buses. Like uh, over a hundred new buses to choose from. Look at all of these, but little sprint Mercedes Sprinter buses and whatever, big blooming extended bus. You name it, more buses than you can shake a stick at. I got the new flyer. Uh, somebody suggested that one. Uh, somebody also suggested getting um, uh, some of the smaller buses as well. But I actually found a pack. It's called. Um, Siemens pack, Siemens, I don't know, bus pack or something like that. But we've got all, all kinds of things. I, I found it because somebody was telling me about a, a, a Hess, a Scania Hess bus, which um, which I found. I think it might have been this one or something similar to this one. Anyway, let's go, let's go find, like, what do we want? What do we want? What, what sort of truck do we want hauling around? Um, I'm probably just going to take something fairly innocuous like this this one yeah let's go with that one yeah so let's buy one two three four five six seven eight ten nine twelve thirteen like yeah about 15 i think for now let's try that so we want to put those on to set them all on line seven please which is the commercial there we go but all right cool just do it the, do, like do we want to do we want a bit of a do we want to have a bit of a ride around we can have a little bit of a ride. I'm not going to like do a whole route or something, but we can have a little bit of a ride around. But you can see here, I need to do some texturing and some finish dressing up some of this area and whatever. There's some neat bushes along the tracks and all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking of putting um, 
put in a field in here. Now, now that buildings have started to appear here, I'm thinking of putting a putting a field with a fence around here. Maybe make it a pasture, have some cows in there, and whatever. I think that would kind of work. Well. So let's have a let's have a little look. Oh, we're going over the new bridge. But you can see down there, we need we need bushes along the tracks and stuff. But yeah, the general environment is looking really nice. Now, hopefully, with us supplying some goods and stuff, this place should actually start to grow up a little bit faster. Which would be a very, very good thing. Get Chudley to fill out a little bit. Oh, here we go. God, there's a lot of birds. A lot of birds singing around here. It's a very happy place. Full of bird song. You know, there should be less bird song as we go into the industrial area. We should hear birds going... <coughs> oh, it stopped. Well, has it stopped? Oh, no. No, it's back. It's back. So, we'll... Um, I'm going to go up to the station. I suppose I suppose we'll go up to the station just to kind of show you that it, it needs more work. Because you, you can instantly see here that we're kind of lacking decoration. Um, these these truck stations need to be need to be much improved. We need buildings all along here and textures and all that kind of stuff and a bit of flattening. Here we go. But look, if we can get if we can get the industry to grow out into here a little bit, and then maybe put in a field between um, the extent of the industry and the station. But I love all these little details. It's awesome. All right, cool. That'll do. That'll do for that. Right. That's enough for that. Alrighty. Um, what next? Having done so, I'm going to be doing more of that around the place because there's obviously the cities have changed over time. Uh, a few people wanted to see some of the stats and stuff to see how things are doing. And, um, yeah, like, generally, it's gone down. We were making about half a billion a year, and it's con kind of gone down a little bit. Um, that's just a construction materials plant. I know about that. That's fine. Oh, we're making a bit more now. Have I been spending money and stuff? And that's possible. Nah, not really. Been spending a lot on like terraforming and things like that. Yeah, not really. Like a couple of hundred thousand. So no. Oh, this is better. Like, like doing two hundred million plus, I'm I'm like perfectly happy with. I don't know why it was down so much here. But I don't know. Well, I mean, we spent almost half a billion on new vehicles, I suppose. So maybe it was that. But yeah, that seems to be coming along nicely. All right, so that's that. Uh, line profitability. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to go through the individual line profit. I'll, I'll just show you kind of the best and the worst. So some of these need a little bit of work up at, um, up at Maggle. Um, this is the TF Goods. Yeah, see, that there might be something wrong with that. I need to go and have a look at that. On the plus side, what's doing well? Bogner Farm, Cow Food, 62 million. Chudley Grain, 30 million. I mean, there's, like, there's, there's quite a few that are making 10 million plus. So, so yeah, and then if we go down to ones that are making a loss, there aren't, there really aren't that many that are making a loss. And certainly there's very few making a loss over a million. But yeah, I should look at probably the bottom five or ten and see if we can uh, improve the situation. Although, you know, 61 billion, guys. I mean, it's, it's not really an issue. All right. So having done that, let's see. I, God, this episode's flying. Okay. Um, I want to do the I want to do the heritage slide, but I want to tell you about something first. Oh, this was. Um, did I do this? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was, I was going to do it, and I was like, no, nah, I should save it, because I was going to do a bit of work on this, uh, do some texturing and put a few extra decorations and stuff in, but we don't have time. We don't have time. So what I'm going to do, this, this was the big idea that I had, because I came over here, and I was looking at this and thinking, this is kind of pathetic. And then I was like, 
oh, you know what we could do? Like, like a proper oil terminal. And I was thinking, I don't really like the fact that this is kind of in the, in the, actually in the river there. I think it would be better moved kind of out here, along here, and made a bit bigger. And then I thought, yeah, like oil terminal, like a full on big freaking oil terminal. And I tell you what, I'll, I'll leave the camera like still for a second. I'll just show you a couple of a uh, couple of pictures of oil terminals. And one thing I noticed looking at these pictures is the the tanks tend to be kind of fairly regularly arranged, often in groups of like two or four or six or whatever. But they're all kinds of different shapes and sizes. It's um, it's kind of weird, and they they almost seem to be exclusively white. So I thought down here flatten off a nice big area and put in a whacking big oil terminal what do you think loads of tanks and then we'll put in a couple of these and like some just some general industrial and oily type buildings kind of behind it what do you think of that idea and then i thought well hang on a second if we're going to do a big oil terminal thing over here what about if we went over here like over here this is where the, the refinery is. So that's the oil well where we're producing the oil. But I thought, you know what? We could do the same, the same kind of thing over here. But have, have that one be the oil well, and then have this one be the oil refinery. And I thought, that'd be really nice. Because all I did was sl sl sling in a couple of tanks there, and that looks like quite good. So you imagine like a big area with loads of tanks and all that kind of stuff. So that's, um, if you like that area, leave me a comment, let me know, we'll do that. Right, let's get, let's get this heritage line put in. So it's going to be running from here. Uh, let's pause the game because I'm going to, uh, I should have put some signals in before I started, but I forgot. <laughs> I meant to do this. I've been in an awful rush today. I've been, as I, I did spend several hours on, on doing this stuff, but... I've also been running errands and stuff. I, I, I don't know where the blooming time's gone today. Because I, I did most of this stuff actually yesterday and I thought, oh, it's, I'll be fine tomorrow because I've, I've kind of already broken the back. I've done a load of stuff. And then today, the, just, the time has flown. Where does time go? I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm putting in signals, aren't I? Yeah, signals. So let's get some modern signals. So I need to be able to see them. That'd be handy. There we go. So let's see. Now the heritage line comes out of here. And then it goes up the edge of here. So we're gonna want now this is just gonna be going. This is only single tracked, isn't it? Are we gonna run it as a single track? You know, for, I tell you what we'll do. For now, I'm just gonna put a single train on. Uh, and we'll we'll just have it like single tracked. So, let me put like a couple of signals there. The thing is, if I do that, I don't need to put the signals in. So we can put the train in, we can have a bit of a ride, and then you guys can tell me, like, should this be double tracked? Or should I have a, like, a passing place and a couple of trains? Or how do you think it should be done? That's actually not a bad idea. Right, now I need to get, um, I need to get a station put in somewhere over here. That's a good point. Oh, I remember, I remember. Because I was looking at this terrain, and this bit here is a bit all over the place. And I was thinking, yeah. I think it would kind of make sense. If I trim off this little bit of road there, and then get rid of this, right? And then we do, we do a little bit of smoothing. It's just to take, take the worst of this off, because it's... That's actually quite, quite high. There's quite a change in elevation. So let's um, let's just because it needs to be smoothed out anyway, and then we'll just take off the worst of that. Let's see. Yeah, it needs to come down a little bit more. So that kind of thing. Right now, level it off, and that should be much nicer. But what I was thinking was, where do, where do we, where's the where's the train going to go? Well, we don't want it to go into this station. We want like a separate station, and I want it to be kind of an old station. So I was thinking, if we put a train 
because uh, I think I think I'm gonna have the heritage line go. We'll have we'll have a bridge going like across here, and then you can go down here, maybe down the side of this road, and then come across here into a station here. That's what I was thinking. All right, we have well we have our heritage line. Hooray! And there was a lot of rejoicing. So what are we going to put on this line? We're going to put on the Flying Scotsman. Oh, hell yeah. So I'm going to run. Now, I've been thinking about this. I, I'd kind of like to set up a train museum somewhere. Now, we've got a couple of heritage lines. We've got the we've got the Mallard running down through the center of Chudley Valley. We, we're going to have the Flying Scotsman over here. But I'd like to set up a little museum. But like, where? Where would we, where would we do that? And I'm not really sure. Because like I'm going to put a depot and put this train on. But it'd be kind of nice to have like a, a bigger depot with some, some different trains around the place. I think we'll just, um, for now, just for now, I'm just going to throw a little depot in here. Not going to, not going to worry about it too much. So, let's flip you around. Boom. All right, what are we going to have? We are going to have the Flying Scotsman. Where is it? Where is it? Class A3 Flying Scotsman. Hell yeah, buy one of those. Now, then we want um, wagons. And I think we're gonna go with these British Rail Mark 1s, the blood and custard. Now we've got the, the T, what's the difference between the BSO and the TSO? That's a good point. BSO, break standard open. First standard open British Coast Design. This is tourist standard open. Oh, okay. I think we'll go, there's, there's very little difference. I think, we'll go, I think we'll go with these. Let's see, what's the top speed? 100 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour. It's exactly the same, so we'll go with these. All right, so let's put on, what do you think? Four, five, maybe five coaches, four coaches, five coaches. Let's see, what's the length? We can go up to 160, so one, two, three, four. Oh, let's put, let's put five. I'm, you know what, for proportions, I'm thinking six. I'm thinking six. Six it is, 140 meters, that's perfect. All right, cool. So all we need to do is now add our heritage line itself. This is gonna be, I don't know, red or something. Yeah, this is gonna run from, whatever the hell this station's called, give me, um, Ashby Station. And it's gonna run to Biggleswade Station and then go back. So that comes in there. Yeah, that's fine. That's all we need to do. So assign that to line seven, which I will name later because I want to get on with this. So let's have a little bit of a look, shall we, at the Flying Scotsman. Now, this is going to be a really quick look. I'll give you a proper ride on it at some point when it's all decorated and whatever, but I think it's kind of cool to put it in there. Uh, why, am I, why am I doing that? I just need to start it. Go. Ah, oh, the Flying Scotsman emerges. Woo! Alrighty, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna crank it up to times three so that it comes down here, turns around, and then I'm still gonna run it on times three till it gets up here to where we're starting to get decorated and then we'll have a, a little bit of a ride through the valley. Does that, does that sound, sound reasonable? We'll probably ride it all the way into the into the station. So, it's turned around. It's a beautiful train, the Flying Scotsman. I mean, the Mallard is my favourite, but God, the Flying Scotsman is awesome. All right, so let's get back to normal. Let's get get on board with the Flying Scotsman. I just want to have I just want to have a look at the train. It is such a beautiful train. Obviously, I've got to go back and like decorate the, the area around the track. There's probably a little bit of smoothing in some areas and some extra bushes and trees and stuff, but yeah. Heading for Beagles Wade. Now, this is, this has got catenaries on. Uh, I, yeah, shall I remove, go on, I'll remove them now. What, what the hell? Like if you're gonna do it, if we're gonna if we're gonna ride on it, then I suppose I should. So what do I want to do? I want to yeah, I want to de-electrify this and this 
That's all de-electrified. It was just that one little section that I put in the other day when I was just doing it quickly, when I was decorating, I wasn't paying attention. All right, cool. So let's gear back to Flight Scotsman. Hooray! <laughs> oh, kids and toy sets. Yeah, I need to pay a little bit more attention to this. There's a little bit more decorating required. Like, like here, this terrain needs to be steepened a little bit. So if I just go around, kind of like that. I don't, want, I don't want to mess the cliff up on the other side. That's the thing. I go around, kind of like that. Yeah, that's better. And then we want to throw in. Let's see. Let's get some some conifers along the edge. The conifers look really nice. They, they're kind of nice and scruffy. They fill in an area like this kind of nicely. And we do want we do want to have the feeling of being like elevated. So let's put that up there. Then I'll use um, I'll use a few a few broad leaves down there. Like that, and then there we go. This just needs to be filled in enough to kind of discolor it, the terrain. There we go, and the same on this little bit here. That actually needs to get blended in, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. It's just there we go, and then. Get rid of those bits that are a bit too bright. And then this area here. There we go. That's more like it. All right, cool. The, you know this, I might actually turn that into a tiny bit more of a cliff. Last thing I'm gonna do. Last thing I'm gonna do. How am I gonna do it? I'm gonna shrink you down to about that size. Lower terrain, put it on medium, and then just there we go. Yeah, yeah that'll do nicely. All right, should we finish our ride? Let's finish our ride. Jump on board, off we go. And look at the look at the valley. Oh, we've got the little village going on. I am thinking this this little field here. I I think we could do I don't know, with maybe breaking this up into two and having maybe some fencing around this area. Because it looks a bit it looks just a little bit too plain at the moment. And I need, I need to put a barn or something up here. Maybe a couple of buildings up this area. Just for a little bit more interest. But this is the thing about the little details. You know, you can, you can faff around with these little details for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Let's have a little look across here. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. How good an idea was this? Having the flying Scotsman running along high up on the valley edge, looking over our redeveloped airport, coming into Biggleswade, going over these big viaducts. I think trains, like old steam trains, just look so good when they're doing that. Hang on, yeah, I am running it on normal speed, thank God. Looked like it was going so fast. Then we come round, we go over the second viaduct. Oh, look how low that plane is. And then a quick tootle into the station. It's running pretty slow here. I would think it's down in the like, 40s. Yeah, 42. Which is still like, you know, for steam trains, it's not, it's not hideously slow. 40 miles an hour. 
on a stretch like this. Still need a little bit of work in that area. Not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. And then we pull into the station, which I was going to switch to first person. All right, so there you go. A little ride on the Flying Scotsman. I cannot wait until I get this, like, the whole thing decorated exactly the way I want it all the way along. And we'll ride it again. Okay, guys. Oh, there you go. It's, it's all over now. Um, so, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I want loads of comments about some of the bits and pieces that I've shown and stuff. Do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? Do you, want to, do you want me to do more of it? Do you want me to, like, do, you're wasting your time? You know, like little little bridge details and all that kind of stuff. And I will catch you for the next one. Oh, oil terminal. Comments about the oil terminal. Peace out.